Hi Aquarius, this is a general love reading for the month of October 2020 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs. It is general, like always, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. So you can check out one of your other signs. Or if you want something more specific, you can always get a personal reading. And also, of course, the roles can be reversed regardless of whether you're watching for yourself or cross-watching for somebody else. And also, let me just mention, if you feel like I've been talking slowly throughout the reading, you can actually watch the video at a faster speed, okay? It's very easy to find in the video settings as you're watching the video. All right, so let's see. What's going on with Aquarius in October? All right, well, we have Divine Masculine and we have Family. Okay, so I feel like for most of you, because it's usually feminine energies, not always, but usually, that watch these videos, this is your person dealing with family. Now, it could be a family of their own if they're married and have children, or it could even be just relatives interfering. Um, somehow in their lives to the point where it's affecting your connection. So we are going to get the details here and see. So if you feel like that is not the case for you, this might not be your, your reading. All right. All right, so let's see, Aquarius. So for you, we have the Six of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. For them, we have the Hermit, the Nine of Swords, the Fool, and coming up in the near future, we have the Lovers, the High Priestess, and the King of Pentacles. So... <laughs> What I really love is that for, it feels like for most of the signs this month, the near future energies have been very, very positive. So let's see, for you, there's something that you're trying to balance out. I feel like you haven't really been feeling your best lately or you're just not feeling your best lately and you're trying to take some kind of action to get yourself out of that or it could even be that you're trying to come into communication with your person if you are not in communication. Um, I feel like there might be some kind of a distance between the two of you because I'm seeing them being in this hermit mode. Um, so it could be that they are isolating themselves, pulling their energy back a little bit. However, they're doing so because they are very, very stressed about something. Um, it could be that they're thinking about taking some kind of a leap of faith here. They're about to begin something or they're just thinking about beginning something new that is very unknown to them. And this is really stressing them out. In the near future, um, it does look like intuition is going to be taken seriously here. Taken seriously and it's going to help move this connection um, to some sort of stability or just closer together, okay, with the lovers being here as well. So let's get into the details and see. swords and the eight of wands okay so it's the second time we're getting the eight of wands here um, 
So actually the six of pentacles could even be that you feel like you felt like something was off balance within this connection and that is what was making you or has been making you feel a little bit sad or not feeling your best here. Um, you may have felt actually like you were being taken for granted um, because there was there wasn't an equal give and take. There wasn't equal reciprocity between the two of you. Um, it feels like somebody was giving a lot more than the other person and and I feel like that would be you. Um, which has left you feeling like you were being taken for granted. Almost to the point where you just didn't even want this anymore or you don't want this anymore because it just it's causing you more pain than happiness with the three of swords and I feel like this is your person here, the emperor, causing you that pain. It could have even been a specific conversation that you've had or that you're going to have or that you, you, you're having um, during this time period. Or maybe even in terms of communication it felt like there wasn't an even give and take. And this was just painful. Let's see the Four of Cups. We have Strength, we have the Hanging Man, and we have the Queen of Cups. So yeah, it feels like, you know, you there was a lot of waiting here. Um, there was a lot of waiting here which just made you feel like like you weren't being in some way you weren't being understood is what I'm getting here it, it feels even like when it came to communication or when it came to the expression of emotions it's almost as if you had to find strength within yourself to either to hold back or to be able to tolerate some sort of some sort of behavior whatever it is that was making you feel like like you were giving more than you were receiving um, and it's just you you're at this point now where you're just like I can't I can't do that anymore so let's see let's see the eight of wands Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. It feels like you're really trying to, to find yourself, trying to um, be assertive, or maybe you have been assertive, or at the moment you're really trying to move towards more assertiveness in stating what you feel needs to be um, that you need more stability or more consistency in order for there to be a reconciliation. So I don't know if you've communicated this to your person or if you're thinking about communicating this to your person or maybe you just would just like to communicate this to your person. Um, but it feels like you, you just really want to look out for your own self right now and you don't want to have to tolerate that unfair type of type of treatment and you would want there to be more um, stability and fairness in order for you to be able to continue on and this is making you sad right because we do have the four of cups so it's not like you're doing this and it's easy not at all i don't feel like this is easy at all for you there's a lot of pain involved a lot of strength is involved um, and a lot of disappointment. Let's see what's going on with them. So let's see this hermit. We have the two of swords, we have the tower, we have the hermit again, and we have the king of cups so we have both the king of cups and the queen of cups here um the queen of cups for you and the king of cups for them so there's definitely feelings on both sides okay your person has just as much feelings for you as you have for them at the moment though okay the hermit twice they're definitely um i feel they're definitely keeping to themselves 
Um, so you're probably not really getting much communication, although you would like to have had that communication. They're going through a very difficult time at the moment here. Um, I feel like they're emotionally a mess, actually, and they don't know what to do about it. I feel like they're just kind of sitting there in the middle of this tower. Like, they're just really um, experiencing the tower as we speak, okay? In a very, very difficult way is what I'm getting here. And so they're pretty much just keeping to themselves because they're having a very hard time coping with it. All right, especially when we have the Nine of Swords following that. So... again for them and the fool is the card right after this so we have the fool we have the six of pentacles again and the seven of cups like i said they're they're stressing they're stressing they're at this point right now where they're just like you know they know that they haven't been treating you fairly they know that there's something that they need to do they need to take a leap of faith they need to take a risk they need to jump into the unknown um, I don't know how this is relating to their family, but in some way it is. Um, I don't know if it's that they need, would need to leave their family, if this would involve divorce, and then for others, if they just need to go against their family, if their family is the one, or relatives is the one, are the ones who were influencing them um, in a way that was causing this unfair treatment. I don't know. Either way, this is causing them a lot of turmoil turmoil but it's again they know they know that they in order to resolve this and that in order to be with you and for things to work out that they're going to have to take some kind of a a risk i feel i feel like like this isn't it, it's not just a risk it's almost like they feel like they might have to be the black sheep that they're going to have to do something that is going to go against some kind of norms or something they believed in or something. Let's clarify the full. Well, first card out, the Eight of Cups. The Nine of Wands, the King of Wands. So again, we have both the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands as we had the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So, wow. Um, and the Page of Wands. Here. So definitely, definitely, um, I feel like this is a divine connection, okay? Definitely a divine soulmate connection. This leap that they're going to have to take, just as I said, they're going to have to turn their back to something. And that's not easy for them. They're seeing that as something um, very challenging. However, I do feel that they, um, because then we do have the King of Wands and the Page of Wands, they, there is that part of them that feels like they can do it. There is that part of them that has that confidence. And I feel like with the Page being right after that, they're at that beginning where they're feeling that initial push and feeling like they actually can overcome this challenge and that they actually can take that leap and walk away from whatever that is. It's just really hard at the moment because they're still going through that tower. And they're going through that tower in Part because they know how challenging it's going to be to turn their back to this. They know it's going to have to take a lot of a lot of willpower here, but it's there. That the spark is there. Okay, the spark is definitely there. Let's see what's coming up. And I mean, the the near future energies they do look promising. So let's see. Let's clarify the lovers. We have the Ten of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Six of Cups. So I do feel like there might be some kind of a um, if you're in if you're in complete separation, I feel like there might be some kind of contact coming up. 
However, that contact, it is going to be, it's going to be a little bit bittersweet, okay? There is going to be some sadness and some heaviness to it, okay? If there's, if there's going to be a conversation. If you are still in contact, um, coming up again, I mean, I feel like, I feel like there's going to be some kind of a coming together, but things still don't seem to be 100% resolved because there's still, there's still a little bit of sadness there, maybe some regret. Somebody's still kind of carrying that load. Um, but I do see this as being um, a very positive step forward. And this person, I feel like is they're not giving up on you. And as I shuffle, justice. All right. Let's see the high priestess. The six of wands. Justice, yes. And the king of pentacles again, which is right after. This reading is crazy, you guys. This reading, oh my gosh. This is, I, I, feel, I don't know if I'm doing a good job with actually expressing this, but I feel like it's very deep. Very, very deep. Um... <clears throat> It's sometimes really hard to express in words what I am picking up on. All right, so as I said, it does feel like this person is actually going to start listening to their intuition more, okay, um, and be guided by their intuition to move towards justice, to move towards that stability, to be able to offer that stability and um, consistency and long-term connection to you, okay? Because we have the King of Pentacles twice here, and it's attached to justice. However, we do have the Three of Wands, so it does feel like it might be taking a little bit of time, but it is in the works, all right, in that direction. I feel like whatever it is, whatever this person is going through, it's pretty big, all right? It's not, it's not a small thing. It might look like a small thing for some of you, um, but you know, you it's really hard to judge what someone else is experiencing. Something that might feel small for you might be huge for somebody else. And for them, this is the case. Let's see a few examples. us the knight of cups i'm definitely seeing this as some kind of an offer coming in some kind of a if it's not an offer it's some kind of a communication where there's going to be um it's going to be heartfelt it's going to be a little bit more open than it has been and i feel like it's going to be um concerning the situation which i feel like this this talk needs to happen because I feel like you've been holding it in, possibly. All right, so let's get the final messages for you if this was resonating. And if it was, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. All right, let's see. Final messages for Aquarius. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and Death. Death has been coming up a lot, I feel, in the final messages for people. So this is all about a transformation. This is all about a change. This is all about putting an end to something that is going to bring a new beginning. There is effort and there is work being done towards an ending of some sort, all right? Um, and I'm going to just say that this is concerning this, your person's family, um, situation that is serving as a barrier to your connection in some way. All right. So you might not be able to see the effects just yet, but it's moving in that direction. Okay. The work is being done slowly, but surely in the direction of that transformation. All right, guys, that was it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm sending you all my love. Bye.